Still going bluegrass. And it's reported you've been drinking and running around yep. with men and going wild. Things like Fit Six Day. I've lost track of the days now. They just blur together. Well, good morning. Welcome to Alec. What? Welcome to Drive Time with Alec. I'm Alec. And I'm still listening to bluegrass. Still making it, still keeping it strong. You know? When you make a commitment, stick to it. That's my thing. Stick to itiveness. I love when people use that as a word. It's not a word. It's a bunch of words. Anyway, today's Whimsical Wednesday, so I'm bringing back story time with Alec. And I have an important story to tell you. It's going to tie into a deeper, deeper meaning that I hope touches your life today in a very impactful way. I remember growing up. Um, if you know me, you know I have a little tiny son, and he's not little tiny. This is about the size of his head now. This is his head. His big head. And he is nine months. And um, it made me think of my father. And I remember thinking back and realizing that uh, my dad worked a lot growing up. Like, a lot. Like, I remember he was, like, gone all day. I didn't see him till night type thing, right? Um, school, mom's there. Dad's not. Dad's working. But I do remember that I used to have basketball games after school. Like, three, four, five o'clock, whatever it was. Depending on how old I was. And I always remember that my dad would show up. I just always remember. I knew that he would show up, and, and, and he didn't tell me he'd be there, I, I just knew he'd be there, I, I don't remember him, maybe he did tell me he'd be there, but he would just show up, and so I remember, I can remember, it's warm up, we're doing layup drills, getting ready, you know, welcome to the jungles on, and you know, my dad would come running in his suit, um, just to sit down at the game and watch the game, so I remember how much that meant to me at the time, and, and, and looking back, it's like, wow, I didn't actually realize how much that meant to me, but it really ties into what I've been really focused on lately, which is just the concept of being present, being there. Because he didn't say anything to me. He said good game and all that stuff after the game. But you know what? He wasn't like... He didn't impart this magical depth of wisdom into my life at the moment. He just showed up. And I think that is so crucial to our humanity that we just forget to do it. It's not about saying the right thing or doing the right thing. It's just about being there for other people. And that's been a, a theme in my existence over the last several weeks, maybe into the month, um, just, just something that I keep seeing over and over again, this, this general reminder of, it doesn't matter what you say or what you do, that's secondary to just actually being there in the first place. And yeah, I can just remember those times when he would run into the games and be there. And so my encouragement to you guys is, what does being there mean to you? Meaning, where in your life are you just not showing up? Not even, not even doing the right thing. I mean, forget saying the right stuff and, you know, being the, the, the right person and all that other garbage and doing the right thing. Just, this, just how many times are you just actually physically not even present for the opportunity to do the right thing or to say the right thing? All right? Yeah. That's what I got. Be there. Boom. Story time. You're welcome. Back to bluegrass. A glorious day. God, I love the banjo. Mm. 